Hey everybody, it's Pastor Carl Brewer. You're watching Metro Morning Mana. Uh, all week we've been looking at the story of Daniel and the three friends who were taken captive by uh, Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. And uh, in the story, you have a very interesting um, mix of two kingdoms. You have Babylon and Nebuchadnezzar and their gods, and then you have uh, Jehoiakim and Judah and the God of heaven. And the text says that God gave his people into the hands of Babylon. Understand that traditional uh, peoples usually view the, the, uh, the war and the battle that takes place between two nations. The one who is victorious, it's because their God is the most powerful. But in this story, uh, our God, the most powerful God, is actually the one who loses in the battle. And so it leads one to think that Babylon must be the more powerful, uh, their gods must be the more powerful gods. But the text reminds us that it wasn't because of Nebuchadnezzar's gods why they won the battle. The text reminds us it was because God gave Jehoiakim and Jerusalem into Nebuchadnezzar's hands. In other words, even when God is losing, God is still the one who's in control. I just want to encourage you, no matter what you are going through, remember it, it, it isn't that, that God is only in control when he looks like uh, things are going well. God is always in control. Even when things look bad, God is still in control. God bless you.